I'm Capricorn, husband is Leo, 40 plus years. Mm, Joseph's a Leo. So should I look for a Leo? I say, do you have a boyfriend? No. Oh, okay, then look for a Leo then. Let's look for a Leo. I will say, all of my exes have been Leos. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm never, trying to... Never mind. I'm they trying to... Ne are you still doing something? Okay. I'm trying to never have an ex again, though. <laughs> What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D, and you're watching Fina Entertainment on Filter. All right, I just finished at Nordstrom with the iconic Thomas, who styled me for the day. Thomas was a closet fan, actually not a closet fan. He was girl. Like, I haven't been in the they, closet for they, years. They done, right? Yes, they okay. do. So Thomas, we love the base. Uh, Thomas <laughs> was watching the show on the feeds and they were obsessed and knew exactly who I was. And the styling was amazing today. So thank you for saving me. Thank you Literally for coming. Literally at the final hour I called and was like, can someone please style me? And on the phone they were like, oh, I got, I got you the right always. Person. So Thomas, thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you again. Yeah. For everything. Kirsten Peak with the Humane Society of the United States. Tonight is our annual To the Rescue Gala in New York City. I'll be taking you around the event throughout the evening and giving you some behind the scenes looks and introducing you to some of our special guests as we celebrate victories for animals and the fight to end the cruel fur trade. Taylor looked absolutely stunning at the event. She will be on the watch what happens live on Sunday and Andy Corbin was there as well so it looks like she got to meet him. Probably had a few conversations and all of that because he was there doing some hosting duties. Now that we've seen what Taylor looked like and she looked absolutely amazing, let's get into the Instagram live before she got all glammed up because at the beginning of you know her hair getting done there were people in the comments I oh, was not sure but it came out great so let's get into it. I made a promise to always look out for my people who are not on social media whenever Taylor provide free content like being on Instagram live. So whenever I come here and I post her Instagram lives, I'm just looking out for those people who do not have Twitter, Instagram, any type of social media. However, they do support Taylor. They did support her on Big Brother and they do want to continue to be updated on her journey these videos are for you all however i still do appreciate every single one of you that still come on here and click all of my content and support the channel regardless if you've already seen it on social media thank you all for the love and support and just in case you're not aware i said free content because yes you can subscribe to taylor and her man joseph instagram and get exclusive behind the scenes content that she's not providing free on instagram so that's why i said the free content let's get into it i had connection issues here either so i'm chilling all right my, that, no that's just a notification my mom got a notification that i'm going live on my own instagram i can promise you that's what it is go get your phone it's gonna say taylor hill just went live <laughs> i'll tell you that's exactly what it is too That's what it was, wasn't it? Did she stop to read her text messages? Probably! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? You guys are, you are so funny because every time I log on, it's an immediate summer requesting to join the live. Like, I'm not gonna let you guys into this live. Why well, have five people already requested to join? Y'all are not getting in here. You can sit there. Taylor, now you're already in here. Okay, what's up everybody? I am getting ready to go to the Humane Society's Gala tonight. And I'm here with Moroccan Oil that is doing my hair. So I think we do, we do a very fun get ready with me. I just got my hair done by Taylor Fitzgerald. She had to rush off to take care of somebody else. Taylor's also in the chat right now, which is so funny. But it doesn't shock me because the traffic in, uh, where am I? New York, I almost said LA. Yeah, the traffic in New York is so bad today like it is unbelievably bad so taylor i'm sure you're probably sitting in that car for a million years on your way to your next spot saying amen not you guys already asking for a moderator jayla nation you ready to step up to the mic how do i do this invite to join no uh add moderator someone said finally caught alive that's right you finally caught alive Moroccan oil rocks. That's right. I use it all the time. Jalen Nation, 
I've chosen you to become moderator for tonight. Don't you love New York? I enjoy spending some time here. <laughs> but New York can be a little overwhelming for me. Even just, okay, sitting in the car on the ride back from my styling appointment to getting here. It was supposed to be a 20 minute ride, you guys. I got here like 30 minutes after my appointment was supposed to happen. Carol, thanks for buying a badge. It's really sweet of you. Thank you. All right. So yeah, it's uh, Veterans Day. So there are a lot of parades happening everywhere. Um, you can hear just, like you can always hear the sound in New York, but it's been specifically crazy today. Crazy. So I had my stressful moment. I was freaking out on the phone a little bit, but we're all good now. Okay. So what are the plans for the look tonight? So today we're going to curl it. <laughs> We're gonna go full curl, and then we're gonna give you some volume up top, mm. and then we're gonna sleek the sides back. Miss Taylor over back. here has a cute little turtleneck for her dress, so I feel like we could just emphasize that. It's gonna look great. It's gonna be real fun. You said girl take the train. Well, yeah, I usually take the train, but first of all, I was wearing heels. Second of all, it's raining outside. I didn't want wet feet. And third of all, when I see 20 minutes in the car, I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna be easy. Nice little easy ride. It was not. <laughs> oh my God. This is gonna be fun. So uh, literally today, or even just yesterday is when I found out that I'd be going to this event, is Joseph attending with you? No, Joseph is not attending with me. Joseph is down in Florida with his family. And uh, I don't know, I think just like the chaos of getting ready for an event can be really overwhelming, but I've got a really awesome team behind me and I'm still like testing out glam teams. Uh, Moroccan Oil is sponsoring the Humane Society event tonight. So they were kind enough to send a fantastic artist to do my hair. You're welcome. Um, she did my mom's hair and my mom looks amazing, but I think I'll do the mom reveal afterwards. You guys don't get to see her until she has her final look on. Yeah. Today's been just like a really crazy day. I went to Nordstrom, the new flagship, and uh, you guys saw who I tagged. Thomas was an amazing stylist. And it was really funny because you all know I used to work at Trunk Club. Um, and so I like, I know I'm familiar with the process of styling, but I styled men for a living. So it's really different when you're dressing different genders and women's styling is just not my forte. So it was really fun to be taken care of instead of taking care of somebody else. And literally I went in there and just had like the most amazing options available. I have another event to go to tomorrow and I think we're going to work together again. So I'm really excited. It's just like New York has been an absolute whirlwind. The only downside is that I had a lot of plans with like my personal friends who I haven't seen in a very long time, but that's fine, you know? I love them and they have my number, my personal info, and as much as I wanna see them while I'm here, I can still see them whenever. They're the best. Actually, um, one of my close friends from college, Anjani, just stopped in. Literally the poor thing, she was sitting here waiting on me while I was in traffic, dying to get back here. Um, so Anjani's one of my friends that was keeping up with the show while I was away. She also went to Alyssa's wedding the wedding that I was so wrong about with the date. If you guys watched the show, you kept seeing me say like, oh, I know Alyssa is getting married, but I just can't believe I forgot the date, but I think it's like late October. <laughs> Don't worry, I saw it. Sorry, stuff. No, I saw it all the time. Also, that's what you for talking. Um, but yeah, so I was like, oh, I think it's late October, August. My God, what are dates? <laughs> Um, what are we on? We're in November, I think. But I November's think, almost who knows? over. November's literally almost over. It's almost my birthday month. Or as Jasmine would say, almost her birthday December? year. Are you December? I'm December. Are you December? I'm December. When, December when? Oh my god, are you ready for the 23rd year? Wait, wait, okay. What? Are you Capricorn? Yes. Yes! Ah! Ah! That's why we get along so when? well. What's your date? 31st. Ooh. Yay! Oh my god, happy birthday. Bye. Happy early birthday! <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? I don't know. Well, this is, I'm new to New York, so it's how long? Be my okay, first how long have you been in New York? Was in new? Like six months. Oh, girl, you're new, new. I'm new, new. Here? Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, maybe we don't want to say. From Texas. Oh, we're in Texas. San Antonio. Okay. 
yeah. I've never been to San Antonio. I don't personally know anyone from San Antonio, but I've spent a lot more time in Texas over the past year than I have in my entire life. Did you spend time in Houston? Yes. Is that why you know real Eric Vaughn? Yeah. Well, actually, that. no, I don't. Um, not because I've actually never met him in Houston. Um, we just know each other through the pageant world. And yeah, of course, he did a lot of pageants. Exactly. I'm a fan of his. He's I'm awesome. Yeah. He's so, oh, girl, he's let, me, let me connect to you. He's literally oh an angel. Gosh. And those babies, those twin babies that they're oh having. And I'm really proud of him. He's a sweetheart. Everyone's saying happy early birthday, Abby. Ah, Aww. Thank you. Are so sweet. Look at all the Capricorns in here. Stop. I love it. Oh, someone else is December 23rd as well. Wow. December 10th. You're a Sagittarius, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we still love you. The H Town standout. Shout out Houston. I loved Houston. I was thinking about um, after the show. Because I didn't know. Honestly, it was after the pageant because I didn't know what my life was going to do or be like. I was thinking about maybe being in Houston, maybe being in Scottsdale, maybe Chicago. Chef Wow in the building! So if you guys don't know, which I'm sure you all know, I was just on a princess cruise, the cruise that I won for being America's favorite player. And Chef Wow is the guy I was talking about that made my favorite omelets every day. So I really want to help Chef Wow get to 10K. So everyone go give Chef Wow official Woo! a follow. We love Chef Wow. He was always singing and just had the best energy every morning. Because sometimes on a cruise, people do not have the best energy. And I don't know, like you're on an all-you-can-eat situation. You're, in, you're going to Mexico. You're having fun. Chef Wow was always in a good mood. And he always made my mood really good. So y'all go check out Chef Wow. Everyone says come to Houston. I love Houston. I really do. I have a lot of friends in Houston now. Um, it's like, by nature, Texas is a massive pageant state. And you know what, you should, ooh, and you probably still could, you should start doing hair for pageants. I should. Ooh, there's so many girls, so many girls compete Girl, in New York. I will follow you around to every pageant. Okay, all right. <laughs> Done, deal. If I judge Chicago, or what? Child, I'm getting geography mixed up like Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> if I uh, judge New York, I know who to call. <laughs> um, what was I saying before that, Mom? What are you doing over there? Relaxing? Mm -hmm. Chilling out, Max, and relaxing all cool? Mm -hmm. Shooting some b-ball. Mm -hmm. Outside of school. So one day, in the neighborhood, <laughs> somebody was up to no good. <laughs> Need a Taylor and Haley meet up in Houston. Okay, y'all got like a, y'all love Houston out here. And I like Houston too, I really do. But, you know, I'll get there when I get there. Do you need any New York food advice? No! <laughs> I do not need any New York food advice. I've been eating real good while I'm here. You're my favorite Big Brother house guest of all time. That's really sweet. Thank you. There's a lot of Big Brother house guests. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, I think I'm the only tailor to be on the show. You could be wrong. Is Mama Hale a Libra? No, she is a Pisces. I am a Pisces. Pisces, and baby. let me tell y'all, she's a Pisces through and through. Pisces. <laughs> what was the hairspray you used? Do you guys have multiple rock and roll hairsprays? We do. Yeah. We have light, okay. medium, and strong hold. All right. So not you saying yeah, mom. Because I know you already know. <laughs> We're doing My mom might as well be. We're doing the medium. We're doing the medium rock and oil today. Medium hold. Because we're, we're pulling up and slicking it back, so I don't need sifted hair. We don't need it hair. crispy yet. Don't need it crispy right now. Don't need it crispy. This is the medium finish luminous hairspray. I, when I was doing my pageants, if I was not using another brand, right. which I will not say, right. <laughs> if I was not using the other brand, which was typically free and available at the other pageants, I would always travel with my own hairspray, which was the um, Stronghold. And, and Great tell Taylor, where did you get your bottle from? My favorite drugstore called Mom's Bathroom. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was it was plentiful and available at all times. So. I mean, say me if you've always gotten stuff stole, stolen products from your mom's bathroom. <laughs> I'm guilty. Taylor and her influencer era. How funny is it that on the show I said I didn't want to be an influencer? I feel like it's. Just this new life that I have now. But how funny is that? <laughs> I'm Capricorn, husband is Leo, 40 plus years. Mm, Joseph's a Leo. So should I look for a Leo? I say, do you have a boyfriend? 
No. Oh, okay, then look for Leo then. Let's look for Leo. I will say, all of my exes have been Leos. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm never, trying to... Never mind. I'm they trying to... Ne to are you still doing something? Okay. I'm trying to never have an ex again, though. Ah. <laughs> Need to come to Brooklyn for some good Caribbean food. You know... Jamaica. I would love to, but I no longer have time on my schedule. And at this point, if I actually want to see my personal friends... They're all just gonna have to come over late tonight to the hotel room, and they're all just gonna have to meet each other <laughs> in one place. Because I am too tired to meet up with anybody or go out and do anything, and I have to get up early again for another event tomorrow happening. Husband Joseph, y'all are funny. Y'all are real I'm funny. Yeah. Or I'll take a shopping. All right. time. Y'all said, I know that's right. <laughs> Are you going to watch What Happens Live with Andy? Yes, you can watch that episode on Sunday. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I cannot wait to have the official Watch What Happens Live recipe for their lemon drop martinis. Because oh I hear gosh. they are devoid. Yeah. I think Andy's next book, y'all need to tag Andy Cohen. Yeah. <laughs> no, you hail raisers are really funny. You guys are on top of everything. Um... Yes, booked and busy. Yes, queen, booked and busy. <laughs> yes, mother. I'm going to start calling you guys children. Yes, children, booked and busy. I'm lying. You guys aren't booked and busy. You're sitting around watching my lives. Ha. I love it. You guys are the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think Andy Cohen's next book should be a cookbook or a cocktail book. When the, right? Yeah, Clubhouse Cocktails. Oh. And maybe even... I don't, Andy go and hire me what's going on here he needs to have a cocktail book called Clubhouse Cocktails and he should name certain cocktails after crazy moments that happened on Watch What Happens Live like um, Jack A. Harris whatever she was drinking oh my at that God. iconic one yeah yes that was such a good episode that was so she funny King, yes that, that was, episode was hilarious we should go and watch it now I don't that was it. hilarious I don't know what they were drinking. Probably lemon drop martinis. They were good. Um, is your stylist from San Antonio? Yes, she is. Shout out San Antonio. What made you make the move to New York? Rockin' oil. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> Boom. Rockin' oil calls me. I'm like, I'm there. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you at all. That was such a funny episode. That was hilarious. Right, so smart. He better give you credit. You need to be compensated for your ideas. Look at this. You need a percent if he does this. <laughs> we'll see. That's actually very good. Everyone's yeah. saying Abby is doing a good so job. Yeah. For all the hottest chef on planet Earth, entertain you while making your food. I know that's right, Chef Wow. Make some bomb food, too. Where is Chef Wow there? I don't know, but you can find Chef Wow on Princess Cruises. Sailing out of Los Angeles. Is your mom as forgiving as you to the other house guests? No. That's a hard no. And she doesn't have to be. No, that's my privilege as a mom. <laughs> oh my god. Abby's a good vibe. I know that's right. Let me tell you this. I was... Let me start it. I'm being professional right now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Still a good vibe when you're a professional. So I was so stressed out getting back here. Because again, I was just a quick 20 minute ride to get to the, um, to Nordstrom. It should not have been long, but the, oh my God, that traffic, you guys, I was so stressed out. And I know, and I lived in New York for a summer. Like I know what the honking is like in the city, but I FaceTimed Joseph on the way back and I couldn't hear half the conversation because there was so much honking. No, seriously, I was like, Real New York mode. <laughs> Real New York mode on 10. Yeah, 35. <laughs> on a level from one to New York. Right. <laughs> the honking was at New York. Right. <laughs> but it was so just like really overwhelming and exhausting listening to all that honking. I was just trying to have a normal conversation. Honestly, I was calling Joseph because I was stressed about the time being late. Because I was keeping makeup waiting. I was keeping hair waiting. Thank God. She, I was keeping Anjani waiting. That poor thing. How come she didn't come up? Um, she had to tap up. She would have had to tap up. 
I mean, I could have gotten it. I know. I, I was, I called her and I said, hey, I can have my mom come down and grab me. And she was like, no, let me just answer some emails when I'm down here. So I was like, okay. And I get that. Sometimes you just want your quiet time to do some stuff. Yeah, so welcome to New York. <laughs> Rain and traffic in New York. Yeah. When she was ready to send the cousins for a family reunion, <laughs> top tier mama mode. <laughs> I know it was hard. That's why Brooklyn over Manhattan. I agree. Even when I interned here years ago, I loved Brooklyn. I thought I was gonna fall in love with uh, New York. I thought Manhattan was gonna be amazing. I lived in Manhattan for those three months and I was like, I could never, ever, ever be here unless I am stupid rich, like Rockefeller money rich <laughs> and living on the Upper East Side in somebody's penthouse, probably my penthouse, but that's not gonna happen yet. So I don't think New York is ever gonna be for me. But then I went to Brooklyn and I fell in love with Brooklyn. What so. area in Brooklyn? Uh, the two big ones that everyone goes to. What? I'm dead. Williamsburg? Park. Yes, I'm that one. You. I'm all new, I'm yes. all new, Williamsburg. <laughs> and what's up, Park Slope? Ooh. Park Slope, no, oh, I'm maybe? by Park Slope. Okay. Unless there's something else that I'm not thinking of. And let's see, I'm confused. I am confusion. I don't know. Anyway, like it that. was Brooklyn. Anyway, Brooklyn. Brooklyn's Once that spot. Time in Once Brooklyn. upon a time. We love Brooklyn. We love Mama Dickens. She must be protected at all costs. Mama J and Chiama were my sanity this summer. I know that's right. When are you getting your dog, Taylor? When do you name her Luna? Oh, like the moon? That would be kind of nice. But, you know, I think I should get my own living space before I get a dog. And I'm not in a rush to, as much as I miss having my own space, I'm not in a rush to rent or buy until I know that it's necessary for me to be in a specific city or not. Yeah. New Jersey's where it's at. I don't know if I need to be in the place that people call the armpit of America, but wow. I know. <laughs> she said, wow. wow. I know many people. I know many, many people that I know and love that are from New Jersey on me being one of them. And actually, I will say, when I came to New York um, for her birthday in April, basically right before I gave up my crown and went to the house, the Big Brother house, I went to her house in New Jersey and I loved my time there. I did not know if I wanted that time in New Jersey, but I loved the time I had in New Jersey. Come back to the DMV, that's the key. Yeah. Yeah. Florida's the armpit. Mm, you ain't wrong. You are not wrong. Mama Dickens, Chioma, and Megan Belmont were more popular than 90% of the house guests. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. 98%. Not 98. <laughs> DMV's where it's at. Taylor, when are you coming to Miami? Let me show you around. Oh, Jasmine, hey boo! No, let me show you around my magic carpet. <laughs> um, I think I'm coming real soon to Miami. And I can't wait. Taylor, do you plan on moving to LA? Uh, I'm not, honestly, you guys, I'm not committed to moving to one particular city until I know that that's where I have to be to pay my bills. <laughs> I paid my taxes this morning. So that is, uh, you know, doing my civic duty, doing what is necessary as a good citizen. But I also gotta make sure that I'm somewhere that is reasonable and livable for me, depending on what my next job's gonna be. Cause I, <laughs> influencing is really awesome, but it can't be my main source of income. Taylor, you remind me of Kobe so much. That's an interesting perspective. But if that just means that I'm someone that inspires you, thank you very much. Yes, we need a Jasmine and Taylor link up. Hey, sis-in-law Jasmine. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Jasmine, we love you and your family. That's right. Are you gonna visit Big D in Philly? I am. I'm so excited. I know there are going to be a lot of people I get to see again, which like I know I almost said for the first time in a long time, but it has not been a very long time since I've seen everybody. It just feels like you live in such close proximity with people for a very long time and then you don't and it's really jarring. 
Taylor, when's your next event? Tomorrow night. <laughs> Y'all can see what's going on in New York and figure it out. It's hot here in Miami. I believe you. Will the whole cookout be there? I'm not sure. I don't think the whole cookout is going to be a big use party. I think maybe one or two people won't be able to make it. But I will see a majority of the cookout. And it's going to be my first time meeting Big D in person. Because he had to hurry up and go back to Philly the night of finale. So when I went to Todrick's for the after party, when I snuck out to go to Todrick's for the after party, he was already at the airport. And honestly, half of the cookout that was left wasn't even going to go to the after party because they were so tired from the party they had earlier watching me win. And they didn't show up to the after party until they heard that I was there. And that's when my phone started blowing up because my number got to the right people. And they started saying like, don't go anywhere. I'm coming to see you. So I didn't go anywhere and I didn't leave that party until like six in the morning. Who did your makeup? I love it. Her name is Taylor Fitzgerald. She was just in the live a little bit earlier and I'll make sure that I tag her in everything that I post. Is that Jasmine, Joseph's sister? Yes, it is. He was such a Taylor stan, who? Big D? I know. <laughs> I saw the episode, I forget which full episode it was, but I saw the clip where the cookout was on stage. I think it was after somebody's eviction, I don't know whose. But I saw when the cookout was fully intact on that stage and listen, Big D wasn't going to let anybody win that show except for me. <laughs> he said, my heart's out to Taylor and I'm going with Taylor winning. And you know, he was right. He was right. This is the best makeup look on you, Taylor. It looks really good. And you guys are going to love the full finish look too. Promise. I have a great idea. Use some of your winnings to buy a house for your big brother buddies and go live every day for your fans. <laughs> yeah, because that makes sense. I'll live the rest of my life for everyone else <laughs> and not for me. It was after Britney's eviction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was not a fun eviction for me. After Britney's eviction, while we were inside. Wow. Okay, so while you guys were watching the cookout do a live interview. Oh, yeah, and she definitely got to... Um, I was going to say, I wonder if Brittany got to meet the cookout then, but clearly she didn't because jury interference. That's really cool. Or crazy. You just don't know what moving pieces are happening when you're in that space. So, yeah, she gets evicted, probably does her onstage interview, gets escorted out, has no idea the cookout is there. The cookout is doing their interview outside on stage, and we're doing our final three celebration. Wow. Wow, that's insane. Popping champagne that mostly sprayed on my face. <laughs> Love that you're so vocal about politics. Always have been, always will be. Jasmine, you might need to add Abden in your bio. She doesn't need her last name to carry her. She's her own person. Love you, Taylor and Jasmine. Jasmine, you're so different outside the house. I love you now. <laughs> well, the Jasmine that's in this chat right now is Joseph's sister. But yes, I do also love Jasmine outside the house too. Jasmine who is on the show outside the house. Who goes on someone's live and says they talk too much? Girl, bye. Who said I talk too much? I could sit here in silence and not say anything, just look at you guys. That'd be something. Tiffany said you will win. And just like that, I did. That's right. When are you leaving New York? Soon enough. <laughs> any amazing race plans? No, zero. Taylor, are you going to do any other talk shows in the future? I plan to. I mean, isn't that always the plan? To always be booked and busy? <laughs> if you ever have a podcast, can you name it Boring Season Where? <laughs> That's funny, but I do have another name in mind for a podcast if I were to do one. I don't know. I don't like talking all that much, which is funny because I go live so much. What kind of dress are you wearing? It's a cocktail dress. The theme tonight or the attire tonight is cocktail. So it's not like a big formal gala, but it is a fundraising event for a really awesome cause. We are going um, 
to make sure we're protecting animals with humane society and they request specifically no fur to respect the cause which i do turner's in the building what's up yo turner is gonna surprise you guys with something really cool i'll say really really cool and it got me really excited too the way he hushed kylo and he was going to give a long-winded answer on how i should wait Kylan is the one that talks too much. But I love Kylan. He's great. <laughs> Jailer Nation, if y'all respond to haters, it's a waste. This comment's already gone. I know that's right, Jailer Nation. Come on, Jailer Nation. Listen, this is like the third person that I've had do uh, moderating on these lives. And Jailer Nation, y'all suck it up. And what was the girl yesterday? G and somebody else? Y'all are crushing it. Sorry, babe. Oh. It was. I think it was a look. <laughs> it was a bang. It was. A, it's a a bang. bang. <laughs> Not the bang. bang. Uh -oh. Okay, so you are teasing the hair a little bit before you put the clip in, before it, right? Clip it, just to yep. secure it. Yeah. I love us. They almost jumped Kyle kind of for giving the wrong answer. <laughs> That's funny. Would you get bangs, Taylor? Um, I would not cut my hair to get bangs, but I would get one of those clip-in bangs. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well that's why I like my clip-in extensions so much, because I can just take it out and have my own hair back. You know, it just feels good. Kyle was definitely gonna say the wrong answer, so they could <laughs> that's funny. Not the wrong answer. <laughs> you had three options. Literally the most like opinion-based Question, who do you think will win and who do you want to win? And y'all are saying there was a wrong answer. <laughs> not the clip and bangs. Hell yeah, I get clip and bangs. Where do you get your tape ends? I do not get tape ends. These are all clip ends and they are from Eye for Design. Eye for Design hair. They were my spot. Oh, Ooh, did I just break it? Did I break the table? Um, I think your mom broke it earlier, but we're not telling the hotel that. I hope they're not lying. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I was trying to fix it. She goes, just. No one knows. No one knows. Shh. Except we're live, right? No one knows. But they're not in here. Not there were two wrong answers and one right answer. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are insane. It was Taylor or nothing. And I know they all wore Michigan blue for a reason, which is so... I love the color blue. Minus USA gown was blue for the waters, the lakes of Michigan. I wanted it in a liquid blue beading because I wanted it to feel like water was walking across that stage. So it was really cool that they all wore Michigan blue as well. And it's just, I look real good in that color. So I love it. But <laughs> she said, not Abby telling on mom. <laughs> um, but it's really funny when people call it Michigan blue because I didn't go to U of M. Someone said, go green. Sure, I could have worn, I could, they all could have worn green. Did anyone? Nobody there went to Michigan. It would have been a different story if Claire was in that group, but you know, not a cookout girl, so. Did you see Big D say, let's just say it's never, I did, I did. And I'm not gonna lie, regardless of who that was about, I would have laughed, because it's just objectively funny. There are two things that were kind of mean that are objectively funny, but I also acknowledge as mean. Um, but never so and so. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it so you guys don't get the clip of me saying it because I just don't. I'm not trying to put that negativity out there. But but never was funny. No matter who that phrase was about, was objectively funny. And oh god, Brittany, I hope you don't get mad at me. But there was a moment where Turner called Brittany a walking L, and I was like, what? How do you even come up with calling someone a walking L? Like that is objectively funny to me. Someone could call me a walking L, and I would laugh every single time. <laughs> If you had a choice, would you have worn a different gown from Miss USA Finals? Ooh, that's a good question. I would have done something a little bit slinkier. Like, y'all know I love to show some skin, so I would have done something like super spaghetti strap, maybe shown like more skin, maybe a two-piece dress, high slit. Y'all know I love a high slit and a two-piece, so yeah. And I also really like, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's when the beading is very see-through, yeah. It still would have been a royal blue or a peacock blue because I just like that, but yeah. 
No, nah, Britt was wrong. He had that man there crying. <laughs> Turner was crying. And I also thought that Turner was acting in that moment. He was crying. But I was, you know, I was being observant. I was not truly, truly committed to believing or not believing one person over the other. I just paid attention to how people were uh, moving. But yeah, I have my, I have my eyes on Turner when he came out crying. I was like, mm. and then I also saw Brittany after she voted. And I was like, mm. I also saw Turner after he voted, sitting up like a meerkat talking about, what? A tie? Immediately walked over to me and said, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. So I was like, maybe it was you. Did she not like me? Why is she ignoring my comments? Cause I haven't seen them. <laughs> Britt was a savage, it was funny AF. Yeah. Turner, do you see this? <laughs> Yo, they loved how Britney made you cry. Do you see this, Turner? <laughs> Britney was playing you that whole week. And you know what? I didn't really care. I flip flopped back and forth between believing it was Turner, then believing it was Britney. I just didn't want to be the person that blindly believed two guys when they swore up and down that a girl was trying to play me. But, you know. I think like deep down, I really did think it was Britney, but at the end of it, like that was, it was a good move for her game to try to pull a Hail Mary and see what would happen. And we see what happened. <laughs> Taylor being a lace commercial. We got to start with the social media stuff. That's all. She was on Instagram live for over an hour, so I will be back with a part two. I'm wishing all of you love. Well. Thank you all care. for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where I post it, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.